Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a wood piece and I'm going to make it kind of Halloween-y. I saw this on a flag on Pinterest or somewhere. Um, and all I'm doing is I have an eight and a half by 10 piece of wood and I have an old coffee can and I'm doing the circle for, you know, and I drew it in pencil. No big deal. I'm not going to paint in there right now. I'm going to use some Brilliant Blue from Folk Art. And you're going to see, uh, I'm just going around the circle that I drew. Very easy. And you can use any colors you want to make a sky. That's essentially what I'm going for is this. I changed this around a little bit. It doesn't look exactly like the picture I saw. Um, but, you know, you could do anything you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. And I just put some of that blue down, as you can see. And then I'm like, you know what? I want it a little darker. I want it to be mixed with uh, a darker color because I don't want it necessarily that blue. So you will see. And I'm trying to get the circle as, as circly as I can. <laughs> but uh, you could, you know, it, it's not a big deal. And I'm going to do the sides uh, while I'm doing this rather than wait till the end. Uh, I've been trying to pay more mind to that even when I use canvases. Because um, I either forget or it messes it up at the end. I don't know. I just figured I'm going to try to start adding that in so, so I can do that. So you can see I smeared a little blue on the top where I didn't necessarily want it to be. And so I just took some water and I'm just wiping it real quick. But it's going to still be blue. I'm going to paint over it so it's not that big a deal. But I didn't want it just to sit on there. So I'm taking a little bit of water and putting it around the blue. And then I'm going to take Folk Art Licorice and um, which is black, so any black you have. And you can do this in an art journal, like on an art journal page or canvas, whatever you have, uh, cardboard. And I'm just taking some black and I'm running around, running it around until I kind of dig what it looks like. And honestly, you're not gonna really know if you dig it until the end, <laughs> um, once you get everything together. And I'm just, you can see I'm adding it in and then you'll see it's going to be too black on the one side. So I add a little bit more blue and that's all. And I just fiddle around, fiddle about, fiddle about, um, Tommy, the who, what are you going to do? Okay. Um, so yeah, and I'm drawing it so I can see it's a little bit better. I had so much fun doing this. I just sat and turned the computer on. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. Um, just to, you know. I was going to just put music to it and put it up. And then I thought, well, I'll just do a, a quick voiceover on it because it was a lot of fun to do. And I might even try to recreate it a little bit differently in an art journal on an art journal page. I don't know. So now I'm just adding some more black after it was dry because I can see, you know, that I want a little bit more black. I want it streaky. I want you to look at it and get different dimensions of the background. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing there. I'm drawing it again because I believe me, I've put my arm in enough paint today. I like it. It's like a navy blue. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't want to mix your blue and all that, get a navy of blue or something. Or even, I mean, if you want to go black all the way, go black. I just wanted it to be dark for the sky in a sense. Now I'm just going to take some gesso and throw it in the middle where I'm going to put my moon. And because this is wood, um, some of your paint is going to uh, absorb in if you don't gesso it. Now, I didn't gesso the background because I really didn't want it to be so, um, I don't know, just so, so one color and, and really dark. I wanted it to kind of melt into the wood a little bit and kind of have a variation because that's what your sky's like. I almost put clouds on the back um, and like on, onto the moon, which you definitely could do. You definitely can even do little, I thought about doing little things in the moon little like designs or little clouds or something, but I changed my mind because I was getting to a point, my hands were hurting and it was like, I know I'm going to mess stuff up. <laughs> so I just kept it the way it was. One thing I might change and I'll talk to you when I get there, but so now I'm just gessoing it. Um, cause I'm going to be putting my yellow down and, um, I want it to show yellow. You know what I mean? I want it to kind of be a pale yellow. Now this is color, uh, John Quill, I don't really know if I'm saying it right. Number 32065 in Martha Stewart's satin, multi-surface satin I'm using. And I'm starting in the middle because the gesso is still a little bit wet and I want it to mix with that middle because I want that middle to be, you know, a tad bit lighter, I guess, when it all is said and done. 
I could sit and paint moons and suns and everything all day, every day. So I'm just putting it, you know, around and making sure that I get a good coat on there. Um, and again, it's not going to be perfectly round. Pretend, pretend when you look at it, like you're looking up in the sky and you need glasses, but you don't have your glasses on, but you can see kind of out of one eye, kind of good. So you kind of squint and then you look up at the sky. That's how the moon's going to look on the painting. <laughs> You know it's a moon, but it's a little fachada. You know what I'm saying? So I took some of my extra yellow paint. I just put it on a black background that I had sitting here. And I'll use that for an art journal background. No big deal. So you can see like the middle, how it's lighter. And I'm just kind of blending it in. Not a big deal. There you go. And this is multi-surface uh, paint, like I said, from Martha Stewart. I'm loving this stuff. It goes on anything and it also dries much quicker than other multi-surface paints. So that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now I'm going to go down and use carrot in the Martha Stewart's, uh, multi-surface satin. And I'm going to use that on the bottom and you know, no palette for me. I just go right to the, to the thing, <laughs> which I don't know if it's good or bad. And I'm just throwing it on you know, kind of keeping it separate somewhat. There's no real point to why I did orange on the bottom other than that's what I wanted to do. So <laughs> there you go. And what I should have done and what I'm thinking about doing is taking my Sharpie or paint marker or what have you. And in between, and I'm going around the sides like I did on the top part. So it's all painted everywhere. I want to, I, I don't know if I should go in and put a line going straight across from the orange to the sky or just leave it alone. I haven't decided that yet, but I didn't do that here. I just kind of, you know, it's me. It's what I'm doing. So I'm just putting it on there and you're going to see. And, you know, after the fact, it's like, um, you know, oh, should have done this, would have done that, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, let me see one second here. And I wrote, sometimes we need a little magic. And now I'm just using chalk, as you can see. And I'm just drawing, you know, Drawing it out, having an idea, which I change it anyway, so. And you're going to see when I go over it with marker, you know, you, you just tighten it up a bit. Use, you know, I had, I couldn't find, I was looking to, for my uh, chalk pencil, my white Stabilo, and um, I couldn't find it. So I got this chalk, it's, you know, it's all different colors and I'm using the green on there. Uh, to draw, which I use sometimes. Uh, I use it for when I sew and whatnot. And uh, sometimes, you know, in my art journals, if I want to to do that. Um, the What I wrote, sometimes we need a little magic. I did not put record. <laughs> it recorded. So if you're wondering, where did that come? Is she magic? Yes, I'm magic. But um, I didn't I didn't hit record. I was so excited. I just was so excited with the color. I don't ask. But anyway, all I did was wrote with my... Um, black sharpie uh sometimes we need a little magic and that's what that says on the bottom now that looks like a hot mess there you're like what the heck is it even going to be you're gonna see so now i'm erasing with water some of the um chalk marks because i want to change the way that it looked i don't want that to necessarily be that way You're going to say, you're going to say, it's hard with the chalk. It's hard with the chalk. And to tell you like, oh, look, th this is what I'm doing or whatever. It's really hard because you can't really, I'm going to change it anyway. So I know some of you don't like when I do the voiceovers. And I'm sorry. I didn't know I was going to put this up. And then after I was done, I thought it was cute. So there. <laughs> All right. I, I See, I should have sped through this faster. Who the heck wants to see me keep going back and forth? But that's what I'm doing. And it is nice because you can um, erase 
the chalk with just a wet rag, you know, or your wet brush, whatever, whatever you want. You don't have to fuss too much and you can really change, um, uh, you know, what way you're going with your painting. Apparently I take a very long time. This is very boring. All right, Cal, get to the getting, please. All right. So now I have my, oh, that's right. I had to go find my marker, my one marker. I have my uh, marker. Sharpie's great. Um, I think that's uh, Faber Castell. I have no idea, or Copic. It's black and it's thin and I love it. Uh, the Sharpies are fantastic too. The fine point Sharpies, which you'll see me use to outline. Um, and now I'm just tracing over the chalk that I did, the chalk line and cinching it up a little bit. So I know, you know, exactly what I'm doing. And now that you see a drawing, you, maybe you can see a little bit more of how it's going to come out. And I'm just tracing it. And like I said, the Sharpies are fantastic. And I know around here in Jersey that uh, a lot of the stores have um, they're kind of getting out of it all now, but they do have the, you know, the Sharpie, uh, regular Sharpies and packages. They have the fine point Sharpies. They're all fantastic. They are your alcohol marker. Uh, they are your, your Copics that you go out and spend a hundred dollars on like I do or did. Um, and you can use the, them the same. They're, al they're uh, alcohol markers as well as uh, Bic is, um, you know, so definitely, you know, check them out because a lot of us can't afford the Copics and um, I love my Sharpie. So anyway, I didn't let it dry exactly how, uh, as fast as I should have, you know, I always like to hit it with the hair dryer to make it dry because while it's still wet, it's going to be movable. Uh, if it's a permanent marker, you have to make sure it's completely dry um, before you wet it. Now, I don't care because I'm painting over everything. So I just wanted to get that uh, chalk off. But of course, wait, you know, wait or you know, do what I do and just go with the flow. And now I'm just using some folk art, um, metallic amethyst. And it's going to take a few, a few, uh, what's it called? Layers of this. Uh, so, you know, if you use that, I probably should have done a base underneath, but I don't care. I did it and I did like three coats on it and I'm completely fine with it. And now I'm just taking the uh, black acrylic paint in licorice again, and I'm just going to outline and then paint in the boot. The boot. And as you can see, you know, and you don't have to use paint. You can use your marker. You can use whatever you want. It doesn't, you know, whatever makes your uh, heart sing, do it. Whatever you have near you. Water. If you want to make this all watercolor, by all means, go ahead. This is just my little, you know, I'm gonna, I think I would put it above my door with my, um, my broom. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, with my broom. And I might even put some, uh, you'll see when I'm done, but I might even put some holes on the bottom and then hang some beads or something. So who knows if I do anything like that, I'll show you guys when it's up and hung. So I did her boots, as you can see. And now I'm just taking some orange, which is carrot in the Martha Stewart uh, multi-surface satin. I'm obsessed with these paints. I can't even tell you how obsessed I am. So I'm just going and putting some stripes in there for her socks because I love it. And I'm just taking my marker again and kind of outline in there, you know, so I have an idea how far to take my stripes over. And this only took, I mean, with drawing and everything, it took like maybe 45 minutes an hour. Now this is, uh, what color are you? You are evergreen, 724. And this is just regular folk art acrylic paint. And I'm just going in between, you know, not being too anal about it, just kind of doing it. Going over again, another coat of the purple. So much fun, isn't it? Just to sit and watch. <laughs> it's not as fun doing it and then going back 
and having to do voiceover. Sometimes I do these and I don't think you guys would want to see them. Like, I'm like, what's the big deal? Nobody wants to see this. And then I recorded it and I really dug how it came out. And then I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to put it up. And then it was, do I put it up with music and just forward through or do I talk? And I figured I would just sit here and talk through it. Cause like I said, it came, you know, Hey, for a crippled girl, not too bad, not too bad. Now this is chestnut brown in Martha Stewart craft satin, multi-surface satin, chestnut brown. And I love it. And I'm using it for the broom. And I did the broom that way. You know, you can do the broom any way you want. But I did it so it kind of, I don't know, I, it goes with my mood, as you will see the kitten at the end um, that I put on there, the cat. Um, you know, a little fachada today, a little out of it today, a little medicated today. And, you know, sometimes, you know, and I wanted it to look like, you know, she's flying. So, you know, it's kind of up in the air. I don't know. You know, If you lived in my head, you'd understand. <laughs> So I get that done and then I'm just going to paint the base of the broom with a little bit of the watered down chestnut. And you're going to see, I'm going to put quite a few layers on, of different colors on here until I get it basically how I like it. And, you know, of course you do whatever colors you want to do, whatever way you want to do it. And I'm adding just a little bit of that uh, watered down in the, on the, uh, wooden part of the broom and then I'm kind of just going in and laying down color and just laying it down like Stephen Perry says lay it down uh, bad joke rat reference 80s I'm an 80s girl <clears throat> and I'm just you know putting some black and outlining it and you know, seeing what I got going on, what I want to add. Now I'm just adding some, you know, some lines in there. And then I was too dark. I didn't necessarily want it that dark. So um, after I throw my third coat of that metallic purple down, <laughs> I was going to put polka dots on her dress too, because uh, I, I thought that would be cute. I might still do it with some pink or orange or something. I can't quite decide and um, more of the yellow and I'm just going and cleaning up a little bit of the um, boots that I did as you can see because I I don't know what the heck I did I must have like got paint on the outside and then I'm going I'm putting that color in the broom too because I want it to be kind of dimensional and, and you know it came, it came out really good um, at the end so you'll see so I'm just kind of going over it again with some of the full chestnut now what not watered down but the full color and now i'm going to use some i love this color it is school bus yellow from folk art 736 i believe and then i'm going to go in and highlight the broom a little bit and then you'll start seeing it come together And it just, it does, it adds. And that's what you do. If you mess something up or you don't like something, how many times do you paint something you don't like it? You go over it. Who cares? You know, it doesn't matter. Now I'm painting little stars on her boots. I want some stars on her boots. And I almost went and grabbed my, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, I just lost train of thought. Glow in the dark, glow in the dark. Because I thought that would be cute to put the glow in the dark, but I didn't. Um, I just said, no, you know what? I'm going to keep it. If I want to change it, I can. I could put glow in the dark over it a little bit. But for now, I was like, yeah, I'm going to just keep it like that. And I'm just, you know what brush I'm using, which I'm in love with, like love, is the Martha Stewart. I'm all Martha Stewart today. It's just the Martha Stewart brush. It's like the white ones. And it has like, like almost a rubbery, grippy feeling to it. And it's the 3 slash 0 3 3 2 5 1. And it is phenomenal to use. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's what I'm using for the stars. So see, she just has some stars. Now, I'm using my jelly roll. I don't know the color, but let me see if there's a number. It's a green. That's all I know. And they never have names on here, but it says it's number 37959. It's a greeny, greenish, tealish color, as you'll see. And I just wanted it just for a little sparkle when the light hits it. 
And I'm turning it upside down because I will put my arms in anything that's wet underneath there. You know I will. And I'm just putting it. It's nothing, you know, it's just adds something. I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> I just like it. And now I'm just going in and, and doing stars with a white jelly roll. I love these things. I can't get enough of the jelly rolls. And I'd put more if I could, but I didn't want to just go too Kelly tacky, you know, because Kelly's tacky and I like a lot of that stuff. But I figured, you know, a little bit will go a long way. Now I'm drawing them a little bit so I don't put my arm in them. And now I'm like, I'm going to put a cat on here. And, uh, you know. Looking at it now, I probably would have taken an extra minute just to make sure the cat, but I mean, the cat looks cute. It looks, it's supposed to look a little, you know, freaked out. My cat, I, you know, you pick your cat up and they start going crazy sometimes. Yeah. It's on a broom. What do you expect its tail to look like? All right. <laughs> so I just drew it in with regular, you know, my regular pencil that I love, um, which is my mechanical pencil from Paper Mate. And I'm just painting black. I'm painting it black. So many music references. And I'm going to tell you something. I had this black the licorice on my table today. And I mean, it sat here in the lights with the air the whole time I did this. And what I did to help myself is I sprayed water on it. Every chance I remembered, I sprayed a couple of sprays of water because it kept it you know, loose and it kept it that I could use it. So, you know, that's a little tip for you. If some, if you're not familiar with that, spray some water on it. Um, and, but you want to keep up because like, if you go like a half hour and you don't spray it again, it'll start drying. Obviously the water will evaporate. So now I'm, I'm getting my kitten. I'm just, I'm just doing that. Drawing it up. Now I liked the eyes with it yellow, the yellow coming through. I really did, but you'll see I put a little green in there for my jelly roll. Now I'm taking my green jelly roll on the bottom and I did a star and I'm just coloring in um, <clears throat> with the green jelly roll. As you're gonna see right there. Yep, and that's, that's the one I'm doing. And I'm just going around and touching the letters a little bit uh, with a little bit of white for a little highlight. And then I go in and I color the cat's eyes green with the jelly roll. Because I like the metal I like the little the little shine. And now I decide I'm gonna go color those white jelly roll stars that I put in. I'm gonna color them in a little bit. I don't necessarily just want them drawn on. I gotta turn it over again. And I'm just coloring them in, obviously off camera, as you can see. See, it's weird because when I put cam the camera on to record, you usually can tell when I'm not, because I'm not paying attention to if it's on the screen or not, as you can see, um, which I apologize for. But that's kind of, you know, I wasn't really paying mind to it. But now I might even take... Um, a little sparkle and put it on the stars. Now I have my, my Sharpie that came in the pack and I'm going to outline everything. And it works great, you know, to outline. And I just think when you outline, you don't have to outline, but I think when you do, it just makes it, I don't know, I'm like an outliner. Especially for like an illustrated quote unquote kind of thing. You know what I mean? But you definitely don't have to do it. Now, listen, if you guys do anything like this, whether it be in your art journal or what have you, let me know, please. Uh, like always, please, you can send it to me on Instagram, on my email, on my Facebook, on my Google, um, Twitter, wherever. Just tag me so I can check it out and see because I love to see what you guys do. And now I'm just tracing everything. There's my broom. See how much better the broom looks? And I'm just happy. So I want to thank you guys for watching this with me. I really, really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, share me all around. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, I love I love you guys. I love you guys. And like I said, I hope that you guys enjoy this. You know, um, that's why I ended up doing a voiceover and talking because I really just hope you guys enjoy this. So... I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope you guys have a fantastic night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.
Bye, guys.